for over 20 years, your number one source for local professional wrestling entertainment. BCW Golden Helmet Award Show, presented by the Bell Time Club, with hosts Sean Feeney and Mark Green. The 2013 BCW Golden Helmet Award Show continues now. Welcome to Livewire. Whoever want, want, if either one of these two men is going to win the title shot, they're going to have to go through two other top competitors here in BCW. So I don't see it being a problem for for, for Bugsy. Look at him. Look how ready he is. I think sometimes the fact that uh, Bugsy doesn't quite know what's going on serves him well sometimes. Well, you know, Bugsy's a little sharper than you think. Woody, not to cut you off, but let's head up to the ring for the official introductions from Sean Feeney. The following is a gauntlet match. Now the rules are as followed. Two competitors will begin in the ring. Once the winner pins the other, they will move on to the next round. And whoever wins this gauntlet will move on directly to a VCW Livewire Championship match against Nick Fahrenheit. Introducing first, from parts unknown, weighing at, at an unknown weight, Jeff Myers. And his opponent, from Bear Creek, Iowa, weighing in at 387 pounds, Bugsy Stone. Might be. All right, there you have it. We are pretty much set to go. Ready? Ring the bell! And there you go. We are officially underway here. And uh, I need you to try to stay impartial here as much as possible, Woody. Uh, don't worry about me. I'm fair and square right down the middle, Greeny. You know that. I think the only... Oh! There we go. There we go. You stick that finger in Bugsy's face and that's what happens. Oh, my that's goodness. That's what happens. Oh. I'll tell you. Oh, Bugsy. This is it. This is his type of moment right here. There is no finesse about Bugsy Stone. It is all straightforward power. Well, he knows all those other moves. He just doesn't like them. Can he do a moonsault? Is that he probably could. He just doesn't like doing that stuff. And I don't know what you know about Bugsy Stone. If he don't like doing it, you don't ask him to do it. Oh, and he sends Jeffrey into that corner and charges in. Oh, my God. He's I got him. I don't know how much longer he's gonna last here tonight, that's for sure. They're off the road, big clothesline by Bugsy Stone. That's right, that's right. Oh, double axe handle. Bugsy just working him over. Big clubbing blows. The beast Bugsy Stone has been unleashed here tonight, and Jeffrey has been the first victim. We will see how far in this gauntlet Bugsy can go, but right now he is firmly in control. And Jeffrey is really in trouble here. Oh, Jeff's in big, big trouble. Jeff, a young man, a, a young, oh! oh! Bugsy Stone is just hammering this kid. And Jeff, a young man trying to make his way in this business, a rookie here, firing off, and he perhaps drew the most unlucky spot in this match, having to go one-on-one -on -one with Big Bugsy. Look at Bugsy just doing whatever he wants to with this guy. I'd imagine Bugsy pretty much does whatever he wants wherever he goes. Now that's what I said. If you don't want to do it, you can't make him do it. <laughs> this is one of the ones that I taught him right here. You start ripping at somebody's face and stuff. Oh, yeah. Although, oh, yeah, this is beautiful. I will say Bugsy not the brightest bulb on the planet. Oh, that's not nice. I, I, well, I handed him my tablet. I asked him to turn it on, and he just started rubbing it. I don't know what uh, that happened. No, no, no. Let's not get into personalities. Look at oh. this. Look at this. Really, now that's wrestling. That's a beautiful wrestling move right there. Just biting him. 
That's a, that's why this man is such a beast. I, oh, big clothesline by he's just killing him. Bugsy kind of you get the feeling Bugsy kind of toying with him, like the dominant species with his prey here. And now, oh, just he's wrenching back. Wrenching back on him, pulling at his face. Oh, the old camel clutch. I didn't even know Bugsy knew that one. Now he's rubbing his beard in his head. Look at him. Oh, those vicious forearms right across the chest of Jeffrey. And he looks like he may be out. That's it. That's it. Oh. Pull it in his face, bug. Oh, I shouldn't be saying that, should I? Oh, well. That's one on me, Greeny. Bugsy Stone, the beast of brutality, just wearing out Jeffrey. But now, oh, Jeffrey getting into it with oh. Burley. And, oh, Burley oh, choking him out. You get around Burley and you start talking crap like he did. I heard what he said to him. You know, you were, you, you were talking about uh, the Brotherhood here having to fight more four or five guys when the Brotherhood's out there. The same is true when the Knuckle Busters are out here, that's for sure. Jeffrey said something to Burley that bothered him. And Burley took it in his own hands. He had no choice. The Knuckle Busters, as, of, as we've always said, famous for breaking necks and cashing checks. And he's going to cash a big check tonight if he can capture that live wire championship. Oh, he's going to win that thing for us tonight. Come on. Make no mistake about it. It's a three-man deal, and Bugsy Stone's drawing the big straw tonight. Oh, big scoop by Bugsy. Body slam. And just deposits Jeffrey down on the canvas. What a clinic Bugsy Stone's putting on tonight. I'll tell you, this is one of the oh, most impressive performances I've ever seen from Bugsy. That's why he's the rookie of the year right here. Usually, Bugsy in tag team competition is the power guy, kind of stays on the outside for most of the match. You don't get to see him kind of dominate the match the way he is tonight. And now, well, Burley on the kick. This is, a, this is illegal. Hey, need to do this. How's, this is a mistake. How is he being allowed this to hold? Mistake, and, oh, but he blocks him. Well, Jeffrey sneaks behind. There's a roll up. One, two, and three. Oh, that's it. Moving on to the next round, Jeff Meyer. Now that's bull. And that is bull. That was a quick count. Oh, look at this. The next competitor coming out. And Your next competitor, Aaron Amadeus. There you have Aaron Amadeus. And he just came out and started wailing on Jeffrey. This Amadeus guy just bothers me. You know, there's something about this guy I just don't like. It's because he's Canadian, right? It's more than that. It's not. It's oh, not. I think it's pretty much just because he's Canadian. That's, not, that's part of it. It's just, it's, it's one of those guys you just don't like. Germany, Canada, who cares? Who, do you really care where Amadeus is from? I don't. The only reason I care is so I'm Sean Feeney, don't you dare correct me, okay? Oh, wait a minute. That was magic. Weighing in at unknown. You don't get to correct me over here, pal, okay? <coughs> right now, Jeffrey has Amadeus in that corner. Oh! Oh, that's, it, that's it, Jeffrey. Oh! One more time. Oh. One more time. And I think Jeffrey's just dropped right there. Oh my goodness. Even I'm rooting for Jeffrey here. Oh, pop of the night goes to Jeffrey right there. Charges in, and oh, Amadeus moves out of the way. And another schoolboy, one, two, three, and oh. You live by the schoolboy, you die by the schoolboy, Woody. Moving on to the next round, yeah, Aaron Amadeus. The fact that Amadeus was moved on. Your next I competitor. It's Amadeus. Whatever. Yeah. Do you really care what his name is? Evan. No, not really. Six. Beautiful. <laughs> yes. Now this I'm looking forward to. This I'm looking forward to. And here we go. It is 
the big, nasty, human wrecking ball, Evan Six. Oh boy, I can't wait to see this. Against Aaron Amadeus, and I'll tell you what, neither one of these guys is gonna win a popularity contest, that's for sure. Anybody that beats on Amadeus is popular in my book. And there you see Dynamite Derek Dukes at ringside with Evan Six, and an interesting pairing we've seen of late here in VCW. That is a very interesting pairing. Why anybody would want to hang around with Derek Dukes, I'll never know. It's got to be money involved. It's got to be something because. And I'm not sure Amadeus quite knows. Oh, and both men, both men thumbing each other in the eyes. Oh, there's a couple of real square shooters for you right there, huh? It's not often you see two guys finger each other at the same time. No, that's for sure. Rarely happens, but there you saw it. Although it did not look like the first time for Amadeus, I'm no, just saying. Um, Amadeus has had that happen several times. Play that Amadeus, huh? All right. Now Evan Six starting to regroup things here. You're going to see a much different match now. And there's a side headlock now as Evan Six. I'll tell you, you look at Evan Six and you don't necessarily assume this guy's got some technical ability on the mat, but you watch him, he surprises you. That's for sure, Woody. Evan Six can do everything in this business, with the exception of the high flying stuff. And do it well. You better believe it. And if you doubt him, he'll just kick in the head. And you look at- as mean as a rattlesnake. And you look at him, and uh, you you watch this guy in the ring. And even for a guy of that size, he moves around so well. Very agile, quick as a cat for a big man. And you saw some of it right there. Right, it floats over right into that cover. And if now, you don't have a respect for Evan Six, and you don't like this business, I'll tell you that. Well, and if you don't, he will beat respect into that's you. That's for true. sure. Very true. Sick and twisted, no remorse. Evan Six is unreal in that contest in that ring. And he has been focused for months on getting his hands on Nick Fahrenheit. And tonight could be the night, Woody, if he can put away Amadeus here. What does he have with Fahrenheit? What's the issue there? I have no idea. He's been kind of stalking Fahrenheit for months. And tonight, he might very well finally get that live wire shot. We talked about the agility of Evan Six. You saw it on display there. Floats over right into that arm drag. Brilliantly executed Text by Evan Six. Textbook right back to the mat. Now he can do whatever he wants with him, Greeny. I, you, I could watch Evan Six wrestle all day long. Once again, I agree with you. This guy, boy, I, he's fun to watch, but he's got such a bad attitude. It's I, hard not to like him. He does seem like right, your type, Woody, that's for sure. It's hard not to like him. I got to think, if he uh, if he finds his way up to APW at some point, you might be uh, trying to recruit him. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I think we could do a little bit better surrounding him than Derek Dukes and Jeffrey. I'll tell you that. Uh, now, that's just I not nice, I'd Woody. Like to, I'd like to think we could. Off the ropes. Oh, big clothesline by Amadeus. And out of the cover. Only a one there. Evan Six showing his dumb that he's not uh, even close to being put away. Oh, this, this match got a few, got a little ways to go. And there you see Amadeus employing a solid strategy there with this bigger opponent just riding all that weight on his back, really trying to wear him out. Well, people have been carrying Am Amadeus' weight for years, so Evan Six might as well be the next one. Well, I've been carrying you for two shows now out here, Woody. Yeah, you think so? There you go. You think so? Come on. Come on, Evan. You do a good job, I'll give you that. On, well, thank you. I appreciate that. I, I aim to please. I'm sure you do. Oh, there you oh. go. There you go. You spend a little time laying on him, like you said, carrying your weight. And he makes you pay with a shot to the kidneys that you have to really enjoy, you know what? Absolutely. Uh, he'll be pissing blood for a week. <laughs> oh! Not a glimpse of remorse, not a glimpse of forgiveness. Oh, he's just starting to enjoy himself. Right just now. a stone cold, maniacal stare on the face of Evan Six. Oh, now they're exchanging chops back and forth. Oh, my goodness. And another one. 
These guys just wearing each other out in the middle of the ring here, Woody. You gotta give them credit for trying to go toe to toe with them at six, but that's a losing proposition. This is Aaron Amadeus. This is breaking down into your kind of match, though, Woody. I love this stuff, absolutely. What? Especially when Amadeus gets punched in the mouth. Come on. You gotta love it. Four corners, Joe. Come on. Uh oh. Evan Six has him in that corner now. Firing off of those straight right hands. And oh, Amadeus fights his way off to the other corner, but no. Oh. oh, he chops him, and now Amadeus trying desperately to get away. Oh! And Evan Six is just stalking him. He's just stalking him. Absolutely, and now he's got him wound up in that tied up in that corner. No! I think he just gave him last rights, Woody. I think, he, I think right now he's starting to sense victory, Greeny. He's going to start laying the heavy bombs on him. And oh, there's the surprise of the night. Evan six to count to ten. I gotta admit that one surprises a lot of people. I actually think the crowd helped him with that one, Woody. I'm not sure he did that all on his own. Oh, oh, and it fires back there. He on desperation. Amadeus is firing back with absolute desperation. Because oh. he knows if he doesn't, he's done. Yeah, if, if Evan Six had nailed whatever he had planned on that turnbuckle, that might have been the end of this match. Oh, went for the leg drop and nobody home. Evan Six moving out of the way. We talked about how surprisingly agile Evan Six is. You saw him moving quickly out of the way there. He's a very agile man for a big man. Oh, he's got him up. Oh! oh! With the driver, and he's got him. That's got to be it. And that is it, folks. Evan Six. Huge victory has Here's your winner and the new number one contender for the VCW Livewire Championship, Evan Six. Get him out of here, Rap. Get him out, Rap. And Evan Six just earned himself a huge opportunity here tonight. Contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the VCW Livewire Championship. Introducing first the challenger from the depths of hell, Evan Six. And his opponent from South Detroit, Michigan, weighing at 164 pounds, he is the current reigning and defending VCW Livewire Champion, Nick Fahrenheit. Well, well uh, Anthony, a a Anthony Green told me I should start with a joke, so I have one. Women's wrestling. <laughs> And we are about to get underway here. What a contest this is going to be. You talk about your classic contrast in styles, Woody. That's what we've got here tonight. Ah, oh, you have to wonder seriously how long this kid can go with Evan Six. And if Nick Fahrenheit had to pick a time to get in the ring with Evan Six, this might be his best opportunity with Evan Six having just had a hard-fought contest with Aaron Amadeus. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if he's any better off getting Evan Six in full-blown fighting trim, ready to go in the middle of a match. I mean, I think I'd be better off getting him cold. I mean, this guy's ready to go right now. No feeling out, no nothing. He's ready to go, and Fahrenheit's just getting warmed up. Well, for Fahrenheit, it's better off to get right into it. The longer he allows Evan Six to get his bearings after that tough matchup, the worse off he is. I don't know. I think he's better off letting him cool down a little. Stay away from him. 
You don't want to give him time to recover, though, Woody. That's the thing. Yeah, but how much beating did he... I don't know that he took that much of a beating. And there you see Fahrenheit reversing into that nice arm runner. Well executed. Fahrenheit is... It's still a mistake. And Evan Six rolls through, and Evan Six rolls through again. Oh, kip up by Evan Six! Keeping Evan Six at arm distance is a mistake. All that stuff looked really nice that Fahrenheit started doing, but he kept him at arm's distance. Big mistake. He's got to move around this guy, hit him, take him down, get on top of him, and keep him away from him. He can't keep him away from him. He can't do it. Oh, oh! There you go, right there. And Evan Six somewhat mocking of Nick Fahrenheit yeah. right there. Followed it up with just a straight shot to the face. Oh, he's got him all the way up. Look at the power being shown by Evan Six here. And oh, Fahrenheit drops through, rolls it up. One, two, almost. I thought he had him. That might be Fahrenheit's best opportunity to win the match, Woody, is to get Evan Six on the way. Oh! Took his head off. Devastating. That's got to be. Oh, wow. I thought Fahrenheit was done there, Woody. He's a tough young kid. There's no denying that. I look at him, the guy just knows so many ways to hurt you. He knows so many ways to take you apart. Now he's working a nerve hole. Absolutely. Nerve hole. Oh, Evan Six, during some of his trips over to Japan, I think, learned some of these nerve holes and has really implemented them into his repertoire. You gotta well. give him credit. Just being able to do a little bit of everything. The, kid, the guy is a student of the game, there's no doubt about it. The crowd solidly behind Nick Fahrenheit here tonight, though. And Fahrenheit firing off those elbows to the midsection, trying to break the hole, but Evan Six just throws him back down. And Evan Six now has... Evan Six now is Nick Fahrenheit being choked out across the ropes while Derek Dukes is on the outside giving some crap to the fans. And oh! Dukes with that straight right hand there to the face of Nick Fahrenheit. I don't know how much damage that right hand did, really. Oh, look at that boot right in the chin. Choking him out. This kid stands little chance. Little to no chance here tonight, I think. Oh, now Duke's choking him out again. Now Duke's is doing damage. That'll do some damage to the kid. And I'll tell you, the, the advantage Evan Six has here is if Nick Fahrenheit can't stay on his feet, he can't uncork any of those high-flying moves that have made him so successful. He's got to create some distance. Right there. And that's what now he's trying he's to do. It right now. And now that forearm to the corner again. Throw, trying to throw all of his weight behind it to get the same impact he needs to get Evan Six down. Now goes into the corner with that drop kick. Now, you're going to try that again. And oh, he goes up. And he comes oh, down with the, beautiful move. the feet right to the chest of Evan Six. And now he rolls away. And oh, Evan Six, the ring veteran. Evan Six always knows where he is in the ring, and you saw it there, paid dividends as he was able to break the cut. Oh! Now Derek Dukes is really starting to do his job here. Absolutely. Turn the tide of the match right now. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! That was a hip toss into a slam from the outside in. What a maneuver by Evan Six. Set up by Derek Dukes grabbing his leg as he was trying to high, high risk move. For the first time, I've seen what Derek, Derek, Derek Dukes brings to the table with Evan Six. For the first time here tonight. I, I think the only thing that prevented Evan Six from getting the title right there was, oh, he, not, oh, he went in, he hit the post. Head first to Pele. The Pele. That's going to be it. One, two, three. We got a championship. The impossible has happened. Here's your winner, the and still, BCW Live Wire Six champion, ran himself into the post, Nick knocked Fahrenheit. himself out unconscious, and then it was just a matter of finishing him off. 
Unbelievable. And Nick Fahrenheit out celebrating with the crowd here. Lizzie in particular, against all odds, when it looked like Nick Fahrenheit was all done, Evan Six made one big critical mistake, went head first into that solid steel ring post as he fell back. Fahrenheit in perfect position to execute the Pele. And phenomenal, phenomenal victory for Nick Fahrenheit. Victory for him. Evan Six had it all going his way and ran himself into the pole. And it was right after that, it was shortly just a quick, what did you call that move, the Pele? Absolutely, the Pele kick. Yes. Finished him off with that, it was beautiful. Fans, join BCW on Friday night, March 14th at 8 p.m. when we present Spring Slam from the Bell Time Club, 40 Broadway Street, Wakefield, Mass. Just announced is the card and it is headlined by a huge main event for the BCW Heavyweight Championship when former champion, the mass hole, Mike McCarthy, gets his much-anticipated rematch against the man who defeated him for the gold, the one-man mosh pit, Tim Lennox. These guys nearly tore the building down last time. There is no telling what lengths McCarthy will go to to reclaim the gold. Also, the VCW Livewire Championship will be defended when Nick Fahrenheit takes on a man who feels he's never gotten his one-on-one -on -one chance to get his belt back, the Reaper, Steve Beck. The VCW Tag Team Championships will be defended when current champions Bo Douglas and Jason Rumble, the Brotherhood, take on Bare Knuckle Burley and Bugsy Stone, the Knuckle Busters. Also in singles competition, we will see Evan Six when he takes on Michelle Moulet. Dan Terry takes on Brandino Davis. We will see Jeffrey when he takes on the Hampton Beach bad boy, Cody Ward. Fans, all that and so much more. March 14th, you do not want to miss it. Spring Slam, be there. tonight's VCW show. Bugsy likes pain. Bugsy break bones. Bugsy eat cookie. <laughs>